surface tension. In a liquid, force of attraction between molecules keeps them to stay together. This attraction results in a negative potential energy for the molecule. We consider molecule A which is well inside the liquid. It will be subjected to the force of attraction from all the directions. There is some negative potential energy due to these forces of attraction. But a molecule B at the surface is surrounded by the liquid molecules from its lower side only. There is also some negative potential energy due to these, but it is less than that of a molecule which is fully inside. It means that the molecules at the surface of the liquid have some additional energy as compared to the molecules present inside. This additional energy which is spread uniformly over the surface of liquid tends to impart minimum surface area of the free surface of liquid at rest. Thus, surface tension is defined as the property of liquid at rest by virtue of which the free surface of liquid tends to occupy a minimum surface area. Surface tension is equal to force acting on an imaginary line divided by length of an imaginary line. S is equal to F by L. It should be noted that surface tension is the property of liquids only and it is a molecular phenomena. The value of surface tension of a liquid decreases with increase of temperature and impurities added to it. Effects of surface tension Number 1. Spherical shape of raindrops Because of the surface tension, each raindrop tends to acquire a minimum surface area and for a given volume, sphere has minimum surface area. However, a perfect spherical shape of raindrop or water drop is not possible at the earth due to the effect of gravity which distorts its spherical shape. Gravity flattens its spherical shape from the middle. Small drops of rain are nearly spherical in shape. Number 2. Hair of a shaving brush or painting brush stick together when taken out from the water. When the shaving brush or painting brush is taken out from the water, the water film formed between the hair. The water film tends to make its surface area minimum due to the surface tension. This brings the hair closer to each other which ultimately stick together. Number 3. Oil spreads on cold water but may remain as a drop on hot water. Surface tension of oil is less than that of cold water so it spreads on cold water. However, surface tension of oil is more than that of hot water. That is why it remains as a droplet on hot water. Number 4. Floating of a greased needle placed gently on the free surface of water at rest. If you take a greased needle on a piece of bloating paper and place it gently over the free surface of water, then after some time, blotting paper soaks water and soon sinks down. But the needle capped over the blotting paper does not sink with it. The needle floats over the surface of water. If you look closely, you may be able to observe a thin stretched membrane of water over which the greased needle floats. Surface energy Surface energy is the work per unit area done by the force that creates the new surface. In other words, surface energy of a liquid surface at constant temperature is defined as the amount of work done in forming the liquid surface of given area against the force of surface tension. Suppose that we move the bar by a small distance d as shown. Since the area of the surface increases, the system now has more energy. This means that some work has been done against an internal force. Let this internal force be F. The work done by the applied force is F dot D. From conservation of energy, this is stored as additional energy in the film. 
if the surface energy of the film is s per unit area the extra area is 2 dl a film has two sides and the liquid in between so there are two surfaces and the extra energy is s into 2 dl is equal to f d or s is equal to f into d by 2 dl is equal to f 2 l s is equal to work done divided by surface area this quantity s is the magnitude of the surface tension it is equal to the surface energy per unit area of the liquid interface and is also equal to the force per unit length exerted by the fluid on the movable bar angle of contact the surface of liquid near the plane of contact with another medium is in general curved the angle between tangent to the liquid surface at the point of contact and solid surface inside the liquid is termed as angle of contact let theta be the angle of contact between the liquid and the solid there are three types of interfaces formed during the contact of liquid and solid namely liquid air solid air and solid liquid interface let sla ssa and ssl be the surface tensions corresponding to three interfaces as mentioned above ssa is equal to ssl plus sla cosine theta here theta is the angle of contact between a liquid and solid case 1 for SSA is less than SSL means cosine theta is negative. That is, theta is greater than 90 degree or obtuse angle. This is the case of water leaf interface in which liquid molecules are attracted strongly to themselves but weakly to those of solid. Here the cohesive force of liquid molecules is greater than adhesive force between liquid molecules and solid molecules. Thus, liquid does not wet the solid. Water on oily surface or wax and mercury on glass surface are the examples in which angle of contact is obtuse angle. Case 2 For SSA is greater than SSL means cosine theta is positive. That is, theta is less than 90 degree means acute angle. This is the case of water plastic interface or water glass interface in which liquid molecules are attracted strongly to those of solid molecules as compared to themselves. Here the cohesive force of liquid molecules is smaller than adhesive force between liquid molecules and solid molecules. Thus, liquid wets the solid water on glass or plastic kerosene on glass or any solid surface are the examples in which angle of contact is acute angle hence we conclude that the value of angle of contact will determine whether a liquid will spread on the surface of a solid or it will form droplets on it the value of angle of contact is independent of the inclination of solid to liquid surface depends upon the nature of the liquid and solid in contact increases with increase in temperature of liquid drops and bubbles liquid drop one consequence of surface tension is that free liquid drops and bubbles are spherical if effects of gravity can be neglected the resulting force due to surface tension acts inwardly perpendicular to the surface. But the size of the liquid drop cannot be reduced to zero by this resulting force. Since there is always an excess pressure on a curved surface, therefore this excess of pressure inside the drop acting outwards balances the resulting inward force due to the surface tension. Let R be the radius of liquid drop, pi be the total pressure inside the liquid drop, P 
zero be the total pressure outside the liquid drop or atmospheric pressure and s be the surface tension of the liquid since pi is balancing the resulting force due to s as well as the p zero at the equilibrium state of liquid drop work done by the excess pressure increases the potential energy of surface in the form of extra surface energy pi minus p0 is equal to 2s divided by r in case of an air bubble surrounded by liquid instead of liquid drop surrounded by air pi minus p0 is equal to 2s divided by r plus h rho g it represents the excess pressure inside the air bubble which is at a depth h from the liquid surface soap bubble soap bubble are also spherical in shape due to the force of surface tension the surface of a bubble is in contact with the air from outside as well as from the inside let r be the radius of soap bubble pi be the total pressure inside the soap bubble p0 be the total pressure outside the soap bubble atmospheric pressure and s be the surface tension of the soap solution excess pressure inside the soap bubble is equal to pi minus p0 at the equilibrium state the work done by the excess pressure increases the potential energy of the surface in the form of extra surface energy pi minus p0 is equal to 4s divided by r a little extra air pressure is needed inside to form a soap bubble the excess pressure inside a liquid bubble or soap bubble is two times the excess pressure on a liquid drop excess of pressure in a liquid bubble or drop is given by pi minus p0 proportional to 1 by r that is smaller the bubble or drop larger is the excess pressure and vice versa capillarity capillary action or capillarity is the ability of a liquid to flow in narrow spaces without the assistance of and in opposition to external forces like gravity a glass tube of a very fine and uniform bore throughout its length is called a capillary tube the phenomenon of rise or fall of liquids in a capillary tube is called capillarity let r be the radius of curvature of liquid meniscus theta be the angle of contact between liquid glass interface p0 be the pressure outside the liquid surface atmospheric pressure and s be the surface tension of the liquid therefore liquid level rises in the capillary tube up to a height h such that h is equal to s divided by rho gr in terms of radius of the capillary tube h is equal to 2s cosine theta divided by rho gr further it suggests that the liquid rises more in a narrow tube and less in a wider tube higher the surface tension of a liquid more is the rise of liquid in the capillary tube the denser liquid rises less in the capillary tube and vice versa for liquids angle of contact theta is greater than 90 degree that is cosine theta is negative that is convex meniscus therefore h is negative thus the liquid mercury having convex meniscus falls in a capillary tube below its level in the container in this situation the liquid level gets depressed in the capillary tube instead of rising hence if cosine theta is negative that is liquid meniscus is convex as for mercury h is negative that is the liquid will be dipped in the capillary detergents and surface tension we clean dirty clothes containing grease and oil stains sticking to clothes or other fabrics by adding detergents or soap to water soaking clothes in it and shaking let us understand this process better washing with water does not remove grease stains 
This is because water does not wet greasy dirt, that is, there is very little area of contact between them. If water could wet grease, the flow of water could carry some grease away. Something of this sort is achieved through detergents. The molecules of detergents are hairpin shaped with one end attracted to water and the other to molecules of grease, oil or wax, thus tending to form water-oil interfaces. In our language, we would say that addition of detergents whose molecules attract one end and say oil on the other reduces drastically the surface tension S water oil. It may even become energetically favorable to form such interfaces that is globs of dirt surrounded by detergents and then by water. This kind of process using surface active detergents or surfactants is important not only for cleaning but also in recovering oil, mineral ores, etc.